If you were assigned a task to upgrade the Cisco switch, what do you think are the steps required to do so without crashing the switch? Now, I've seen this in the past and upgrading a Cisco switch can be a very challenging task, especially if it's your first time or if it's something that you don't do it on a regular basis. So to help you on that, I'm going to walk you through eight easy steps that you can follow along to upgrade a Cisco switch. Just want to make a side note here. You probably will have to be eligible to download the Cisco image directly from Cisco. And unfortunately, I can share the images, but probably you might be eligible. Just want to check it out. Now, let's dive right into it. OK, to connect to the switch, I'll be using the serial console connection. Uh, so let's bring party serial and i know that i'm using com2 but again uh if you missed on the previous video to know which port serial you should be used if you go to device manager ports com lpt uh you have two options in my case i have two options and i know that it's port com2 so in your computer it might be a different number so I'm going to select COM2 and open this connection. Okay, let me just increase the size a little bit. So change settings, appearance, change to uh, 14. That should be too much. No, okay, it's okay, great. Let me expand this a little bit. So we are inside the switch. Now I have here all the eight steps so we can follow. Uh, the first one is to know, OK, what is the switch model? Uh, because we can't just download any software image to the switch. We have first know what is the switch model. And to do that, uh, I can run the command show inventory. So because I want to hide some information from this output, I'm just going to use show inventory pipe and I'm going to exclude the serial number. So I should only have the description. So this is the switch model and I'm going to copy this and paste here. OK, so we're going to need this information later on. So 375024. OK, so just take note of this. And the next information we want to know what is the software version that I'm currently running or the switch is running. And for that, we can use this command show version. And again, I'm going just to uh, display what is relevant for us. And in this case, we are running the Cisco iOS software version 15.02 SE 10A. Just going to copy all of these and paste right here. And let me expand this a little bit. OK, so now we have to know, OK, we know the switch model. We know the software version. How much space is available on the switch? But because we're going to download a software from Cisco and we have to upload this image to the switch. So does the switch has enough space? So let's check that by running the command B. OK, and here we can see that uh, this is a uh, 57 uh mega and we have uh let's see kilo mega so we have around 22 megas available on the switch so we have to take note of that because if the file that we download will be larger then we might have to find a way to upload the file to the switch okay and uh, I'm going to show you uh, later how to do that. But OK, you just want to take note that we only have 22 megas available on the switch. OK, so now we know the switch model. We know the software version. Uh, we know how much space we have available on switch. Let's download the software image for this switch. OK, we should go to Cisco.com to download the software image. So we're going to click on downloads. And it's going to take us to download page. And here we're going to select the or search for the switch model. We call that it is a 3750X. OK, and I know that it is 24TS switch. OK, 
So now we're going to select here iOS software and it's going to show us all of these different versions to download. Now, uh, normally Cisco recommends uh, the most stable image by highlighting with this star. And in some scenarios, it is best practice to update to the recommended version from the vendor. Now, in this case, we're going to choose a different one. I'm going to pick uh, one that is closest to the version currently running on the switch and that's 15010. So I'm just going to pick 15012. So I'm going to 150 and I'm going to select 15012. Okay, so here are the images that I can download, some I can't. Anyway, in order to download this image, you must be eligible to download some of them. And I'm going to download one of these images so that we can upload to the switch. Okay, now that we have the software image, we're going to upload to the switch. But uh, recall that the switch only has around 22 mega available. Uh, and the image file has what 19 mega so if we upload this file it is going to fit on the switch but uh, if we take a close look uh, the switch is only using one of these images so uh, for instance it should be 1502 so it means that the switch is only using this file which means that we can delete this file now, as a best practice, instead of deleting or before deleting, you might actually want to upload this file from the switch to your computer. So in case you might need this in the future for any reason, this is just a best practice advice. Now I have done this already. So I'm just going to delete this file by running the command delete flash, and then just going to copy all of these and delete. Okay, just make sure that you're not deleting the wrong file. Okay, delete flash, confirm. Okay, done. So if we check again the command, okay, we remove or delete that file and we have more space available. Great. So now let's copy that file that we just downloaded from uh, Cisco to the switch. And I'm going to copy this file to my root directory or the directory that I'll be using to upload the file to the switch. So in my case, it's on drive C, EFTP, and I'm going to paste here. Again, I already have this uh, set up with FileZilla. So now I just have to copy the name and uh, send this using FTP to the switch. And the command for that is copy FTP and my host IP and the file name. Okay, and I want to save this to the flash. Okay, and it's going to confirm the destination file name and it's trying to access and now is uh, uploading the file from my host to the switch. Now, this might take a couple of seconds. so. Meanwhile, you might want to drink a cup of water or coffee. Okay, the file was uploaded. Now let's just check that. Sorry, 7, 150, oh, 12. Yes, we have the file on the switch. So now uh, let's see which step are we. So we just downloaded and now we are on, on fifth step. We uploaded the Cisco image to the switch using the management interface. And now we have to set the switch to load the new image. So the next step will be to set the switch to load this new image. And we do that by typing the command boot system and flash. And now I'm going to copy this new file. Okay. And press enter and back. And I'm going to save this and reload the switch. Cross fingers and enter. Yes. Okay, the switch is back online. Now let's check whether the software was actually updated. So we can see that now it says software version is 1502 SE 12. 
and it was updated successfully. Now, I won't lie to you, these took uh, more than 30 minutes to complete. So uh, in case this happens to you, whenever you're upgrading a switch or a router, uh, it might take actually longer than that. So don't turn off the switch, just be patient and wait until the process completes. Now, I hope you got value from this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.